Um, who's oh. gonna, who's gonna who's gonna bring this? Who one wants in? to bring it in? Hold on, let me finish. Tim, give me my, an arpeggio. I've got pepper. La 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 la. Wow. That was our own Tim. Thank you, thank you very much. And I'm Mark. I'm Tyler. I'm Nick. And welcome to another episode of Epizoodics of the Blowhole. Cool. We started out all the uh, all over the place. It really is. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's what we're gonna do. We're all over the place. I feel yeah. like my body is just as limber as my vocal cords. Yeah, that's that, that track shoot, oh track suit you got on. You've never m- looked more relaxed. Now, I can't wait until we start live streaming. To be honest with you, really? It, yes, absolutely. Yeah. You can't wait. I can't wait. When is this going down? I mean, it's soon, right? I don't know. Yeah, after episode... I'm live right now, babe. After episode uh, 100, that would be a Tyler thing to do. Just he's been live streaming <laughs> himself. I'm just like, watch me on my yeah. podcast. But you, you know, he just goes home and beats off to the videos. <laughs> oh, look how good I look. <clears throat> Welcome back to Me on My Bike by Tyler. Today I'm going to be riding my bike. <laughs> oh god i haven't ridden my bike in so long this guys is- donate I'm money ready. i'm ready we're either gonna go to town pump or water buffalo <laughs> hell yeah <laughs> that's very tired keep it going i'm gonna turn nick up just a notch sounds awesome yeah just, just a get little, into just it a little bit. yeah you, you know you're making fun of me here but i'm, I'm not i'm hip i'm with it i'm you ready are. to go you, you are you are as we always say you are hipster one. Oh, you're the first hipster I'm there the is first hipster <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, well, that's we've said that multiple times. I don't know. I think he's hipster. You've said I think all he's the hipster, hipster trends. Curious. He's hipster curious. I did set a lot of trends. Hipster curious? Yeah. I could see that. That's where like you just <laughs> dip your toe into like collecting vinyl and I have you know. a couple pieces of vinyl. Yeah. Pieces of vinyl. What's been going on with everybody? I feel like it's been oh, forever. Okay. It does yeah. feel like it's been forever. So, it's it's December now. And mm. so it's the Christmas season. And let me tell you what it's I no- did. It's November, Tyler. Mm. No. When this comes out, Nick. Right, in November. Get with it. <laughs> what? <laughs> Try to keep up, buddy. I'm trying. You know what it is? It's all that all that testosterone is going to his face where he's growing out that <laughs> shit. That, look at his chin. Come look on. at it. Come on. Show us. Oh, my God. That's like a month's worth right there. <laughs> it's like a- Ball sack. Yeah, it looks yeah. like it looks like a dog shed. And you actually Come fell on. down and landed. You know, in it. I, I've been My waiting. ball sack is hairier than that. I've been waiting for this for like two episodes now. <laughs> You've been growing so them I, for two episodes. <laughs> That's a my. That's a Come five on. o'clock shadow on a man. <laughs> <laughs> Good lord! I've never oh, seen man. you so hairy though. There we go. Come you must have upped your testosterone program. Rachel well, Maddow right. has more accidental hair on her face when she goes live. I mean, look, look at Nico. Oh, wait, I, I just dead named him. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm offended. Uh, I have a hit show. <laughs> we just are, cut you waiting, are you waiting until you kill a deer over And a there, few Nick? hit albums. Yeah. He's, he's yeah. waiting until the Red Wings make the playoffs. <laughs> He's gonna have a he's gonna have a beard that covers almost his entire face by then. <laughs> and we, we, beat the, we beat the Bruins. Yeah, I'm telling know. you. Yeah, boring. Who cares? <laughs> boring. Who cares? Um, so, I think you look all right with the little stash. Thank and you. Chin stuff. Yeah, I don't want to fuck you as much now. <laughs> <laughs> as much. <laughs> yeah, you, weren't you guys in a relationship in prison? The, That's right. Yeah, yeah. Just a hypothetical. Of, I was just thinking about yeah. that today. It's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't raping you because you're a pedo. He was in a relationship with you. That's I right. just, I just like that. Yeah, I like that. Tim framed the story. It could have just been we're in prison, but Tim had to frame it as Nick is a pedo, and that's why he's in there. <laughs> I'm glad and there's still a fantasy about me. Yeah, I'm just. I, yeah. I'm happy to be in the. In the happy, to, just happy to be here. I'm happy to be here. Involved. Yeah. Uh. So anyway, it's Christmas time. It's time to go shopping. Uh. I went to Walmart the other day because um the county sheriff uh does a thing <laughs> where they um buy bikes for kids or uh, you know let businesses buy yeah. bikes for kids. So I, I bought a couple of bikes for the kids and you can just put them on layaway at Walmart. So then the sheriff will go pick them up. And so I'm there in the layaway office at Walmart, which I didn't even know where it was. Yeah. Um, packed with shit, okay? And packed with shit like Starbucks coffee beans, like a big five-pound 
bag of where was Starbucks this in layaway or what in layaway who so, puts coffee on layaway on layaway like you can't come Man, i think it really bucks. speaks to I'm the, the I'm state gonna... of the economy in arkansas <laughs> I, i'm i was confused because i'm like gonna finance so it. we're getting yeah. the fancy coffee. coffee like it was the beans it was not ground like they're gonna have to grind this themselves oh, yeah they didn't think about that they're gonna put all that maybe they have a grinder on layaway maybe they have on... a grinder on layaway as well i don't know you know that's but, aggravation on layaway because they for they didn't realize it was ground so uh-huh. they're going to get the beans, get it home, and be more pissed off. I don't know. Is Super it, pissed. I mean, yeah. the the other thing for me here is that, all right, trying to understand why someone would have coffee on layaway, uh, that's beyond me. I, can't, <laughs> I, I don't even, I can't even formulate a joke for that one. The only thing that comes to mind, though, is why of all the fucking coffee would you put Starbucks there? Starbucks, in my opinion, and I'll, I'll just kick it off with a hot rant. Starbucks uh, is fucking trash. I don't I'll, know if I've said this whoa, before on here. I like it. Wow. Starbucks Ooh. is not good. No, it's not. It tastes like, tastes like shit. It's what not a, good coffee. I enjoy it. What a hot take. You don't. I do. I don't think you do. <laughs> you know, I, no, you don't. I, I, I drink it black. No, I do too. Just I drink saying, coffee black. I that don't is get, the, in the purest form. That's how you should drink coffee. Yeah. And Starbucks is shit. It's, it's an, absolute shit. It's okay. There's it's nothing overpriced. Wrong it's better than it's, Dunkin'. It's not good. It's decent coffee. It's not decent coffee. Why are you? Re- are you oh, man. It's like, th- look. You used to have original rants. This is like the same rant I've heard from like 50 people. Because it's true. That's no. why you have 50 people ranting about it. Because it's terrible coffee. Uh, I don't know. It what are you looking for, Tyler? looking for the notebook. Oh, it's over uh, down it's the floor It's just a there. great movie, and we just want to watch it <laughs> Rachel, the podcast. Yeah. Sound off. We don't need the words. We all know them. Actually, yeah. you know, a uh, little behind the scenes here. <laughs> we usually have a romantic comedy going while we do the podcast. Just, Look, I'd, I'd just, just rather... Just level ourselves. Yeah. I, you know? yeah. Norm, yeah, we just put romancing the stone on. <laughs> oh, last, that's a good one. That's yeah, a good last, one. Very last good one, Last week yeah. was You Got Mail, so... So also to see, good. Yeah, Tom Hanks do his thing. It's you've got mail. Right now oh, there sorry. right now there's a guy somewhere. Yo, you got mail. Some, that used to be a thing. You remember that that was such a popular <laughs> that was such a popular thing, such a popular phrase that it You've got mail. They were able Yeah, they were able to make a movie of uh, I gotta about check it. my like, phone real quick. You realize that people who were born like pretty much the year after that movie came out have never experienced have ne- that. They they have no idea what that is. Yeah. You've got mail. Yeah, they're you're just, right. I got you. Don't have to log in I, to hear the. I know people that still use an AOL yeah, email tech, address. The sound of techno rape, because that's what that was. That was the what? Like, why couldn't they? That's another thing. Why could they not have fixed that? Out of all, like, we had the ability to to like we created the internet. In the fucking 90s, it became consumer available. Like, everyone could buy it, you know? Right. We're connecting to sites across the world. This technology exists, and you can't get rid of that god-awful sound. Mark's hard ones. Yeah. I mean, think about it. What was making that? Hold on. Is that the sound of the internet? No, I really do want to know this. What What it's was making modem. that sound? What is that? It's They're just trying to connect over a phone line, basically. That's it. But so what, what, because what is they the have sound? these, they have you have to connect. You have your modem that connects to a DSLAM, right? Which is upstream, and then I'm that lost. connects to the reg. <laughs> For anyone who listens to this, Nick is uh, Nick. You have Nick your is modem. Tim's like, I'm out. <laughs> I'm Think out. of it like this: Your computer is placing a phone call back to AOL. That's right. That's it. But I don't understand okay. what makes that noise. Yeah, because if I call thing. if I call you if I call you it doesn't make a noise. It's literally di- it's dialing a number. But, that's exactly what. But that is. I dial your number; it makes no noise. Yet I know that's that's so literally in, the advancement well, of technology. Why do they have to make it audible? It's just the way it is. Why couldn't? It? Oh, he, <laughs> oh. oh my god. <laughs> man, these sounds like two robots saying, fucking with no Vaseline. Man, nobody. Oh my. Hold on, guys. <laughs> we got to connect you back to the podcast. Just a second. Yeah, I think well, uh, your computer's connect- broken. Should, uh, with uh, the, uh, 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 <laughs> and dick well, joke. Anyways, mom, <laughs> mom, get off the phone. I'm trying to get online. <laughs> Do you remember the like heated <laughs> arguments that you'd have with your parents? <laughs> Get off the fucking computer! I gotta make a call. I got a Just call give me coming. Five minutes. It wasn't. It, 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 for me, it was more often we're expecting a call, not we yeah. have to make a call. That was mine. Is yeah. I'd God. be back on the computer and my dad would be like, 
have you heard from uh, Uncle So and So tonight? I thought he was going to give me a call. Mom's like, No, I haven't. We haven't gotten any phone yeah. calls. And I'm sitting there downloading yeah. songs off yeah. Napster. Yeah. Off yeah. That was <laughs> off a kazaa. <laughs> Me- meanwhile, Tyler's got half a titty downloaded. Right, <laughs> right. That was that Mom, was doing homework. homework. She was real. <laughs> See, the thing I could never get through my parents' thick head is that whenever I was online and downloading music or whatever, if someone called. It kicked you offline, and so they would just oh. call back. So, oh I, right, right. But that right. was the other pain in the ass is that when you were on there, like I remember the tension that that, <laughs> that I had in my body <laughs> the when anxiety. I would, when I would get on Napster and I would find a song and I'd be like, okay, that's the one, and I would find for the person who had the T one connection because that was going to be the fastest one point five meg exactly. And I'd find that one and then I would go. <laughs> God, I hope no one calls in the next hour. Yeah, like, but, but, you then, know, but then sometimes you get, you get that free song. song. You, you get download that, a two meg file. No, you get that song downloaded, and turns out it's the remix with Funk Master Flex yelling in the beginning. Oh, yeah. and you're like, God uh, damn it! Or like a radio copy. I just spent two hours trying to get guys, that song. <clears throat> DJ Jeff Atlanta. <laughs> do you might as well just hit record on your tape player and get it off the exact, radio? Still, I, I remember still. I remember doing that, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. You'd miss the first three seconds, yeah. but you were primed and ready to go. Like you had just. <laughs> you had to press Sing it, the, the play and the record button <laughs> yep, at the same time. Yep. But um, uh, do you guys remember? Jesus Christ. Come on, Nick. My dad what the fuck? What? Sweet oh, Joe. Oh, put him on. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Have him on. It's uh, Sweet Joe. Hey, Dad. You're on the podcast. I am? Yeah. Awesome. What's up, Joe? How's everything going? Hey, Joe. <laughs> too, <I'm> sweet Joe. <laughs> Not too bad. We all got drunk. We all got drunk at Thanksgiving. It was funny. I love that. That's right. Yeah, Joe, we were just transitioning your daughter on her transition. You were transitioning a what? Tim's making a bad joke. Tim's into tracksuits now, Dad. It's really cool. He's got this Eastern European vibe going. It's great. Right, he's got the black with the stripe down the side. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's exactly it. All right, Dad, well, we're going to get back to making uh, mediocre Wait, what can we jokes. do you for, Joe? Yeah, what? Well, well, okay. Yeah, you want us to answer a question for you or anything? Do we need it? Yeah, you can answer. No, I'm not going to give you a question to answer. No. Okay. <laughs> All right, Dad, well, I'll talk to you later. Love it. Bye. Right. Whoa. Good, Love you. Thank, good, good thing he called in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He kicked us <laughs> offline. <laughs> um, sometimes, yeah, he, sometimes, he goes, yeah, I could. No, I'm not going to do no, it. No. Sometimes my parents will call and they have nothing to say. Right? Do you, you know think you have nothing parents, to say? They're just, they just, yeah. they're just checking in to see that you're still alive. Yeah. Yeah, my, mom, you know? my mom will call. Hey, Nick, you're making decent decisions now. <laughs> <laughs> my, my mother will call and tell me what blood pressure medication she's on now. Yeah. Just, she tell me five different ways, like what what's injured on her. I'm like, oh god, oh my fucking <laughs> god. Re- on her. Repeat I got herself. I got a call. I got the Thanksgiving update, and we all sat around and talked shit about people I haven't seen in about fifteen years. <laughs> That's uh, good yeah, times. You know, hey Nick, uh, you hear Matt Grant and Eddie had a mental fucking breakdown, huh? <laughs> Matt Grant and Eddie. Dad, Dad, I, Dad, I haven't, I haven't uh, talked to Matt Grant and Eddie since sophomore year of high school. <laughs> Oh, fucking kids fucked up now. You know how? Yeah. <laughs> you know how many times I've had the same conversation where my my dad has been like, "Hey, you ever talked to? Uh, you ever talk to Adam?" And be like, "No, I'm talked to him in like yeah. three fucking years." Like, yeah. oh, that, that's a good. That's a good. Um, so for the Thanksgiving break, you went home, uh, Mark, and I went home. Uh, Tim, you didn't go. No. Nick, my parents go. came down. Your parents yeah. came yeah. down. I had a lovely okay. one though. So so we we both went back to the place we grew up, Mark. Right and. The, the tradition is Wednesday night, you're supposed to meet up with the people you went to high school with before. It's terrible tradition. Oh, or, no, or, or Friday night or sometime while you're there. No. Do you do that at all? No. I, I didn't. Yeah. I, so I graduated high school in three years because I fucking hated the place where I lived and I hated uh, the people that I went to school with. Mm-hmm. Um, and as the years have gone on, I realized that. Uh, I didn't know it worked like that. I wish I, really, I knew that. I would have re- got out earlier too. <laughs> well, I was the, I was actually the first. I hate person this place. Can I leave early? <laughs> See, I was just lazy was, and stretched she just kinda, it out. Kind of yeah. glossed over that for a second. Like, how did, what do you mean you fucking graduated? So, yeah, look at Mark bragging. Yeah. Like, 
like, you know, we walk, we walk into out his house. Here. We walk into his house, and he's got basic cable on, and he goes, "Hey, Nick, check out my real tree." <laughs> I'm like, wow, God Mark, Mark, it's a little strong. Yeah. I d- <laughs> what do you want to know? What do you want to know? How did you? Ju- you said uh, you just said. Oh, yeah, I got out of high school uh, after three years because I didn't like it. What did you fucking retards do? No, I, was like, <laughs> <laughs> I was actually the first person in the history of my high school to do that, too. You just so. put in the work? So extra why would work? they keep up with that? Nah, so basically, That's the thing I, to keep up with. Man, I look, well, one of the things... Anyway. I'm the first guy I ever take my skate off and try to stab somebody. Yeah. <laughs> one of the... <laughs> Yeah. One of the things that I pride myself on just in general is that I just just hear me out. Don't all make right. the fucking face, all right? Let me do let me just do really, myself. Real quick all before right. you get into that, can, yeah. I, can I try a little of that jewel there? Yeah. Oh, oh god. god. I lost mine. Oh, I got an extra battery over there. No. I, I lost my jewel. Yeah, I got an extra battery what? over there. Yeah, if you want one for the podcast. Well, yeah. uh, we were on a great topic. God damn it. Tyler, it's over there in front of the computer. <laughs> it's it's on a USB hey, thing. Hey, if you could not get that, Show so we're not... Right. Yeah. What is that, menthol? That's menthol. You want a menthol one? No. Oh, okay. You want to try this cool cucumber? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. <laughs> that's it. Yeah. It's, is it putting our MP3s on? There? Yeah, that's right. It's on a it's on a USB port. It's it's weird. Once I nah, you just take it off. Oh. Leave the USB. I, in. I think yeah. my tracksuit just completely absorbed the jewel. Yeah, I think it's it did. Gone. Yeah, I had it in my pocket. Now it's just gone. Not okay. Yeah. Oh, Here. okay. Where's yeah. It? No, no, no. That's fine. All right. Sorry oh, to inter- interfere. This is the cucumber this is one. This is great this pod. Is. Oh, okay. <laughs> Anyways, Tyler. Yeah. Look, yeah. this is what the people have come to expect, all right? <laughs> oh yeah, it's God, not bad, this right? Strange. Yeah, I know. Yeah, in it's high cool. school, I was smoking the jewel. I graduated in three years. It's fucking great. If I would have had two jewels, it would have been two years. I invented <laughs> uh, I invented a pod vaping system in high school, which allowed me to graduate in three years. It later became yeah. known as the jewel. You literally just vape in algebraic equations. That's right. Yeah. And you solve them. I mean, do you really want to know how it happened? No. No. Oh, no. Okay. No. Tim's nodding yes, but you know. Save, we'll save it for another private. episode. That's yeah. fine. Yeah. But I did it in three years. I got the hell out of there. So You, you don't like the people you went to high school with. I didn't like the people I went to high school to with. What I have found out later on, I th- what I found out later on is that I'm actually is just... They a, didn't like you either. No, they actually <laughs> didn't mind me at all, but I'm just sort of a bitter person. Yeah. So, oh, I, yeah. I, I used to do that That's thing fair. where Wait, I go... Wait, really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mark's bitter. What? Hold on. I also used to do the thing where I go back and visit my high school buddies, but it got expensive. I mean, flowers aren't cheap anymore, man. Oh shit! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Lowell's a rough place. I did, Tyler. <laughs> I did, however, see. Uh, I did, however, see one person that I went to high school with at um, at the Bada Bing, which was uh, the local bar. Oh, oh word! Yeah. So I saw. I saw one person. I didn't say hi. I ignored them. And uh, nice. then you big the league. Next, him. Yeah, and then the next uh, the day after Thanksgiving, me big and. Me and Lauren went to uh, Hinders to go get some wings and um, mm-hmm. uh, saw another person. I went. Is to, that like uh, Hooters, but they have big asses instead? <laughs> yeah, no, it's a uh, cool. sure. Yeah. yeah. So, no, but I, I saw another person there. I know they saw me, and I just ignored them. That nice. that does make it difficult for uh, D Light Arkansas because we don't have a bar in town that we can all meet up at. You know, you got to go to someone's house. Which you're I'm from D Light. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man, we gotta have a conversation after this podcast. Yeah, when I because uh, I know someone who is the same age as us, and you might know who that is. Well, we'll have to talk about it after Arkansas <laughs> drama. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. I uh, I usually meet up at the local crack house um, with De- R- Ricky. And where all Joe. the Cambodians are. That's yeah. For Nick. Oh yeah. Pass this down to young Nick over there. Thank meet you. up with uh, uh, Dicky. Uh, Dickie and Mickey, yeah. <laughs> Joe, Ricky, Dickie Ward, yep, down there. Uh, What's well, Dickie Eklund actually? Yeah. Yeah. Oh it's yeah, the half brothers. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Whoa. All right, what do we got here, Tyler? Tyler's broken Tyler's up the beer. beer, and we got to get back to the Thanksgiving thing because you had something you were leading in with. No, I, I really just wanted to know. I really just oh, wanted if you to know meet if up you, with people. Yeah, because I don't. Well, what about you? Did you go home for Thanksgiving? No, my do parents you ever, came down. Do you oh, ever okay. do that, Nick? Uh, I haven't since I've moved down to Arkansas. Wow. Like, they come down here. 
Yeah, I, I think you were that popular. Your friends come down to Arkansas. That's no. goddamn right. I, got, I had no friends from. I think from he was talking about his school. parents. Yeah, yeah. AKA uh, his, uh, his, uh, his roommates. Uh, <laughs> my, my reunion, my ten year reunion, was oh, over yeah. Thanksgiving, and I I could not have cared less. I mean, yeah. a lot of people were on. Uh, there's like a Facebook page that you're just oh. automatically in. And a lot of yeah. people are like, "Oh, I'm so happy to see you, you and you." And I just I'm my like, so my class, I, I left it. <laughs> my class <laughs> didn't have a ten year reunion because our class president died, and then Damn, someone perfect. dropped the ball and people, never got people pay planned. attention to the class president. No, I can't listen, tell you who my class president was. She was well, that. She was a, a very. I, I remember. Yeah, she Could, was very. Uh, she she was a great uh, great girl, and she was. I want to say she was twenty or twenty one. I got a call from one of my buddies. She went on a spring break vacation, and she was, if I remember correctly, on the fifth floor of a... Now, I could be wrong, and it, I think there's a few people from yeah. back home that actually listen to this podcast, so I may get like a hate message cool. and be like, oh, you oh. fucked it all up. But the story that I got... Bring it on. <clears throat> the story that I got was that she was there with uh, a bunch of folks, and she was on the fifth floor of a hotel and decided to jump from one balcony to oh, another. Yeah, you've told That's this a before. lot of yeah. people and die she, at spring break. And she fell, and as I heard, she survived the fall initially, but then died like right there on the concrete or whatever. But I, you know, oh. in my head, I thought jump from one balcony to another. That's like no problem, crazy. But oh, the I mean, way they described it was like, yeah. Th- Right. You still think like no problem when you have some booze flowing through you. But yeah. even I worse was that it was one of those ones that's like it wasn't like a jump. It was more like just a step over. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Oh, there was shit. a gap and I guess a uh, misstep happened. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking fell all the way down. So, hey, now we can label ourselves as a true uh, so, crime or murder. Or, but yeah, well, well, none of those things. Yeah. Um, the hotel murdered her. So, yeah. Well, fair enough. There it is. Sounds like a Stephen <clears throat> wow. King novel. Yeah. Really yeah. topped uh, my Thanksgiving. So mark. this beer is the Fire Tower Stout, and it is from Slate Rock Brewing in Amity, Arkansas. Oh, I've never Are heard of new? them. Yeah, it, it yeah. tastes just like the free range from Flyway. Yeah, it almost tastes exactly the same. That's what I thought it was. Mm. Yeah, that well, it's like good. Stout. Range, yeah. So. yeah, yeah, it's good. Um, I think it's a little, a little heartier than the free range. The free range I could drink on the lake. This one. This one's yeah. a little heavier. It's got the same flavor it's though. It little, does, yeah. Something to it. Yeah. And uh, I know because yeah. my palate's opened up. But that's that what happens. See, that's what happens with uh with Arkansas. What I've noticed with a lot of these restaurants that pop up that try to be like they're not a chain restaurant, you know, it's something that's local, but then they end up sourcing all their shit through Boulevard Bread. Or they source all their shit from these you, you know, so you get dishes that may be a little different, kinda but they all kind of taste the same. So I wonder if this this brewery got the same sort of hops or whatever it fucking was that Flyway is getting. Well, I assume you know? if you're trying to make a stout, it's going to be pretty similar anyway. Man, I don't know then, about that. We've had so many different stouts on here, and they true. all they taste yeah. different. This one's good, though. I like it. Uh, I think it's a little too coincidental that bad. this is in Arkansas as well, and it tastes very similar. It tastes to like one an Arkansas was, stout. Yeah. Man, Mark is fired up. It might episode. be part of the same, like, grain you, co-op you're, you're, or something. You're fired up. I want people to listen to this shit in the mornings and get amped to uh, like, go to work, you know? Like, it's like yeah. beer co-ops where they get the same malts shipped in from Belgium or something. But, you know, it might be one of those things. I don't know. You and say it, co-op. That reminds me of the funniest, uh, the funniest fucking phrase I ever heard on King of the Hill. I'm just going to go ahead and say it. I laughed so hard. It was when Hank Hill found out that there was a hippie co-op in town. And he goes, a co-op? All those VWs in the parking lot? I thought it was a Unitarian church. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny. Uh, a great, one of the greatest shows ever. Um, I, I like that. Right over my head. Another part of that show. Is, uh, you know yeah, because Nick never went to no any church at all. Clue. You know the, the Asian neighbor? Uh, they're yeah, try- con. Trying to, yeah, they're trying to find. He's like, "Where are you from again?" He's he's I lay ocean, and he goes, "From what ocean?" Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that was that was in the first season. I'm I'm binging uh, King of the Hill right now. Oh, okay, Hulu. that's why you're up on. They it. got it. Yeah, they got it on uh, on Hulu. Finally, it was on Netflix, and then oh, Netflix lost it for a few yeah. years, and then they put it on Hulu. So wow. I've been just like. I haven't Running been watching. You've been chasing it. Yeah. I haven't you, been watching it. one of the greatest shows. Canceled Netflix so you could afford the Hulu I, I so used you can watch King of the Hill. I didn't cancel it. Oh. Because Tim pays for it. Boy. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's why I can never get on. <laughs> <laughs> Who's watching? No, I used, you, to, I used to hate King of the Hill, though. I hated it, man. 
I used to, Bobby's I, a great smart. character. It's a funny show. Yeah, but I was like 22, 23 years you old watching than that. watching Aqua Teen and uh, and uh, shit. Fucking like Aqua Teen is so. one of my favorite shows yeah. of all time. You know. So then they put it on Adult Swim, and I was like, "What the fuck is this trash doing on here?" And then later on, as I got older, I was like, ah, "I appreciate this nuanced humor." Yeah. Yeah. So slow burn. What, what else yeah. are you guys watching on Netflix? Uh, every time I try to go on, it says someone else is using it, so I can't really use it. But. Uh, <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. It was like that for a while. I had to change my password, I think, at some point. You know what was going on, though? One of your ex-girlfriends my, was watching my, it. Uh, my, stepdaughter was, um, my stepdaughter was leaving it on. Oh, shit. And just like, because she just, that's what she does. She leaves she the TV on. She smokes weed and passes and out. She put, and it's just, oh Netflix is just running. She she doesn't. <laughs> she's like 12. She's 12. Well, I guess that doesn't <laughs> mean anything. But she doesn't mean anything. She, but she, anything. I mean, she does she's, she's pretty cool. on her phone. Well, how old were you when you smoked weed for the first time? I was like 15. I had just turned. 15 yeah. yesterday I, I bought some 15. off of your daughter or your <laughs> <laughs> and that was your first time <laughs> That's right. she dealt to you <laughs> I, I was in a I some was, good shit by the way <laughs> I remember I was with my turquoise dreams <laughs> <she> got a, <laughs> <laughs> my, my old buddy Ryan who uh, eventually got into like heroin and stuff uh, he's he's the one that first got me high on weed in the mm. parking lot of the uh, Pheasant Lane Mall in National New Hampshire okay I, it didn't do anything for me I didn't get high the first time I smoked I didn't, and I had, and I had heard that other it's happened to other people. Yeah. The first time you smoke, you don't get high. I was very ingenuitive as a teenager, though, because what I did was I took a pen tube, a socket from my dad's uh, ratchet set, and I took um, some tin foil and I wrapped it around there, and then I cut out a piece of screen from the window and put it in the Stone, socket. Stoner engineering. Yeah, we, and I hadn't even smoked yet. It was just in me. We made you know? a pipe out of some clay and baked it in the oven and everything and painted it. And then did you really? Yeah. Then we oh smoked out of it. We smoked out of it, and it got me so Chalky. hot because because of all the like fumes from the paint. <laughs> I was just inhaling fumes from the paint. And you I, didn't actually smoke no. weed. You just huff spray <laughs> yeah. paint. That's all it was. <laughs> and, then, and, then, and then, like, I'm, I'm going around. The, I'm like 17. I'm starting to understand a lot here. 16 or 17. Yeah. I'm running around the house. I did it in my house, actually on the roof. And I was like, oh, smart. my mom's not home. She will never know. And I'm, my brother know. my brother and sister walk in the house, and they're like five years younger than me. And they're like, what's that smell? And I was like, oh, shit. They can smell it. So I'm running around the house spraying. I'm like, my dog, PJ, is like, PJ got sprayed by a skunk. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm like spraying down it's, the house with. You were sharp, though. You used the correlation between the smell of weed and a skunk at a very young age. It's something uh, you don't yeah, realize he, until later on. Years later. You were smoking that good from a young age. <laughs> years later, my mom, told, my mom told me that she knew knew what it was and knew what I did. I was like, that's bullshit. I would have been in so much trouble if you actually knew. Right. Yeah. Right. yeah. The uh, One of the second or third times that I smoked, I still remember this. I had a, a fresh eighth of weed, and I um I had I had made another pipe uh, at that point. It was New Year's <laughs> Eve. I still remember this. <laughs> it was a, new. It was New Year's Eve. Stepped up the socket size a yeah, little yeah, bit, yeah. just a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> it, it was, was from three eighths to half inch. <laughs> it was New. It was New Year's Eve. Um, I smoked by myself because uh, my Used family one of those went gel to. Pin all his friends were yeah. still in high school, and he had graduated. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> In fact, Mark had a small part in the movie Half Baked as a stoner engineer. He's the guy on the couch. Okay, yeah. uh, give me a two liter, an avocado, some rubber bands. Yeah, I was actually in true romance. A lot of people think it was Brad Pitt, but it was me that was laying on that couch smoking out of a honey bear. Um, so anyway, uh, so anyway, it was New Year's Eve, and I remember um, making this pipe smoking some and o-town was playing oh, on hell yeah. dick clark's uh new year's eve my parents and family were at the church new year's eve and i was like i'm too cool for that Is shit that the so butterfly I stayed song? home no no, no that's that crazy was town. crazy town Sorry. <laughs> that Different was probably town. Butterfly. that's Shoot. probably o-town was the one that was like i never want to say goodbye because i never want to see you cry no, you don't I don't remember that I think one. They're like the, the, the least well-known boy band. Yeah, because they were one of those MTV uh, put together game. Uh, like I thought they were Lou Pearlman band. That, no, no, they weren't. <laughs> they weren't. They weren't touched. Um, <laughs> touched by an angel, yeah. <laughs> Lou <laughs> Pearlman. Yeah, <laughs> but I remember smoking, and uh, I, it hit me right around New Year's. When every when all the confetti and all that shit started falling down, like and I got groovy. paranoid as fuck, and I flushed everything down the toilet and uh, went to bed. 
What is that? <laughs> what is that with people? I did. Yeah, I was 15. I was like by myself, and I was like, "What is this feeling?" You, you need know? someone there to be like, yeah. "Dude, maintain." <laughs> yeah. But I also it. don't flush twenty bucks of weed down the toilet. It was thirty at the time. Jeez. Yes. Ooh, that's thirty bucks for an eighth. Yeah. Wow. Uh huh. And it was, was probably the, some garbage too. Nah, nah it was most some, likely. It was some kind yeah. bud. <laughs> some KB. Some KB. <laughs> that's what I was gonna say that I didn't know if anyone would get it. Hell yeah. Yeah, some KB. So yeah, that was uh and then many times after that I remember smoking pot with my friends, coming home stoned and like just uh, ignoring my parents. I bet if you, you know? were to try to buy some weed off a guy nowadays and you're like, hey, you got any of that KB? They'd be like, what? No, yeah, I got purple yeah. haze or whatever yeah. crazy words they come up with. You want to know? Dream catcher. They're way more you specific know, about it now. You want to know what an angel. You got any uh, howling wolf? <laughs> you you want to know what Marley's an angel nephew? might. <laughs> any squatting wizard? <laughs> you got any of that Ned Marley? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You want to know what an Stephen angel Marley, my, man. <laughs> my brother was, though? I had a conversation with him five, six years ago, and uh, he told me that he didn't know that I smoked weed in high school, but one time he was snooping through my room, and I had my toolbox in my room, and I had my weed in my toolbox, and he said he As found... You do. Yeah, he said he found my weed in my toolbox, and he didn't tell mom or dad because he he just figured that I was holding it for someone. <laughs> wow. Like everything they tell you about drugs and no one holds it for someone. Kevin was like, yeah, I thought you were holding what it a, for someone. What, what, what a nice That's boy. exactly right. Yeah. Well, no. again, to be fair, he always heard people walking up and down the hallways at school saying, are you holding? Are you holding? Mm-hmm. And and you said one time he heard you say, yeah, yeah I'm holding. Yeah, I'm holding. Yeah, yeah I'm holding. Yeah. yeah, I'm holding it for you. <laughs> yeah, that's I right. Gotcha. Trying to keep kids off drugs. <clears throat> yeah, I'm, let me hold that for you, man. You don't need that. Let me hold it. <laughs> yeah. I still remember. I still remember one time my dad. My dad dropped me off at my buddy's house, and uh, I knew that they were going to have. It wasn't really a party, but there was like five or six of us, and um, my buddy smoked, and uh, his two older brothers were like big hippies, and my other friend who lived like down the. Tra- it was really cool. We found out that he lived down the trail behind the woods uh, from my other friend who I was getting dropped off at his house. They found that out because they came to my Halloween party one year and then they were like, anyway, it doesn't matter. So my dad, I'm very confused. Anyway, my dad pulls up and (laughs) my dad pulls up and he's like, all right. And he's giving me the whole spiel like, Hey, have a good time, blah, blah, blah. And I see my buddy Danny walk around the corner and he's just ripped as shit, man. And I get out of the car and I'm like, okay, all right, I'll see you tomorrow and shut the door Soon as I walk around the corner, Danny pulls out a, a fucking bong that's already loaded, and my other friend walks around, hands me a joint, and I was like, "What the hell's going on?" And then I see his brother come out of the woods with a fifth of Jack Daniels in his hand, Party. and just like falls Jesus. over and rolls over, doesn't spill a drop. And I was, <laughs> this was like my first sort of real party or whatever, and I'm like. This is what being an adult is like. Like that's what I thought. I it's, thought that's what come to like. find out. It's the exact opposite. It's, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you just get together and podcast and reminisce about old stories. That's yeah. what it is. He hated those people, Tim. Yeah, he got out of high school early to, to get away from those dickheads. Yeah, they were bringing him down. <laughs> no, I liked. I liked them. They were um, good people. <laughs> Sam and Danny. So I think it's Sam, um, Danny, Dennis, and Alex. I think we need to. Yep, move, those are Dayton, uh, Ohio. Yeah, names. very yeah, Ohio, know, right? <laughs> We need to move on. One time on. they went on a Maybe. hike and found a dead body on the train track. It was actually Sam. Uh, Mark, did Alex, you know an Evan Danny at one and point? Danny and <laughs> An Evan? Oh, yeah. There were a few Evans. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, okay. It's time. It's time. Because we got we got some announcements to do. So let's go ahead and knock this Bible story out of the way. Oh, yeah. We oh, got a, you got we, one? We got a big announcement yeah. today. Uh, okay. So we do? it's time for oh. Sunday School with Nick. Oh. Whoa! That was good. That was solid. Yeah, it was yeah. a solid. One. I've been really working on my vocal range. Yeah, yeah. you have. Been doing yeah. Yeah. Hey, give me good. another arpeggio. La 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 la. Very good, Tim. So good. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. So, um, <clears throat> this actually comes from Matthew. Nick, this is a New Testament. That's a Bible book. A book oh, of the Bible. Okay. It's not like some dude, hey, I'm Matt. I got some Bible stories for you. <laughs> the uh, book of Matt? Uh, it's not. <laughs> would you, I, would, I wouldn't read the book of Matt. It's not Matt. I go by Matthew. Uh, the book of Richard. 
<laughs> so, uh, uh, it's uh, called local magazine. Jesus is <laughs> Jesus is talking, and he says, um, "So what's going to happen is when in the end you're going to be judged, and you're going to be welcomed to come into the kingdom." <laughs> what has he been on the podcast before? <laughs> it says uh, Just a lot of dead air. <laughs> For I was hungry, and you gave me something to eat. I was thirsty, and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger, and you invited me in. I needed clothes, clothes, and you clothed me. I was sick, and you looked after me. I was in prison, and you came to visit me. And the people who are letting in, being let into heaven are like, we didn't never do this, you yeah, Lord. We, we've we never seen you before. And okay. then they nailed him to a cross, Nick. Sounds like a needy <laughs> fucking group of friends. And Jesus he says, Christ. And yes, Jesus, exactly. says, oh, yeah. Jesus says to them, Truly I tell you, whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you did for me. Okay. That's All right, story. Tyler, what are you getting at here? That leads into, you fuckheads, that we're about to do something for someone. Oh, oh, oh I see. I was waiting. I was waiting. Yeah. I was waiting inevitably this. for the horrible part of yeah, the story Yeah, I know. I was start. too. I was like, I know this and... Yeah, and then uh, oh. Jesus in, uh, said, uh, so, you know... Then Jesus sicked a bunch of forcibly squirrels. Forcibly get blowjobs. I don't know. <laughs> forcibly get a blowjob? Yeah. <laughs> forcibly How do you get a blowjob? Get a blowjob? Get over here grab, and suck this dick. Grab somebody's head and get sucking. <laughs> <laughs> no, get or get. It's the Bible. Know. The Bible sucks. He makes a good point. That could have happened in the Bible. That's true. So, and then Jesus so said, you know you have to lead yeah. us in like very obviously. Yeah. That's the thing. Man. On you this podcast, we, we get... lead each other in. Exactly. As you were saying, Tyler. So, Thank you, Tim. What's going to happen is we have an opportunity to do some good for some people. <laughs> All and, of you do. Yes. <clears throat> uh, among other things, we've got a live podcast coming up in January. January 12th, mm-hmm. we're going to do a live podcast, episode Woo-hoo. 100. Episode 100, it's man. Big one. At the yeah. Core uh, Brew Pub on South Main in mm-hmm. Little Rock, okay? It's a hot district in hot Little district, Rock. Hot district, Soma. And instead, so, yeah, so hot that it has its own nickname. I think that's so the hot. real telltale sign oh, of for a, sure. And it's of got two city. capital letters. Yeah, it's, got, it's capital S, little O, capital mm-hmm. M, little A. Yep. that's that's where it's at yeah. right there. You know when you know like your Soho, city, but so much. Yeah, you know your city is becoming something when it has its own districts, quote unquote, and they have their mm-hmm. own condensed nicknames. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, that's right. Uh, so we're gonna do that there. And what we decided is instead of charging admission uh, and and lining our own pockets, we're going to ask that our listeners, our dear listeners who come to this uh, event, uh, bring uh, a gift that they might have received for Christmas that they didn't really like. So we'll call that a re-gifting. Mm-hmm. Uh, or they can go to the Amazon wish list of this charity and they can find something that they need. And what is that charity, Tyler? The charity is uh, an organization called Lucy's Place. And what they, they what do they do? They actually uh well you can change the lives of LGBT <clears throat> youth experiencing homelessness. So apparently there's a big problem. Well, you know we love hobos and gay people. Yeah, exactly. Uh and yep. what see Nick Nick doesn't really get uh, growing up in a culture that thinks that homosexuals are so bad that you can't live with them anymore. What are you talking about? He grew up in Cleveland. Yeah, but you it's can't like live Boston with them. Light. What? I, I don't get Can, it. Well, so there are there are Cleveland's children, full of hate. There are children who actually like <laughs> for our sports teams. Yeah, <laughs> you remember when you were going through puberty and and you <laughs> if there was a gay Browns last year. Yeah, last I was gonna year. say right now. Look at him. <laughs> Last year, you guys are you stumbling through, here. Come <laughs> when you were going through puberty and you realized that you were attracted to girls, right. that you're like, okay, I'm attracted to girls. Right. Well, some people aren't attracted to girls as guys; they're attracted okay. to guys as guys or oh. girls as girls. Now, is this we bad? Know. Is this bad in Christianity? Where it's oh, very bad, yeah, very, bad. very bad. And so, although that's the good thing about Christianity in 2018, it's very malleable. You know, um, like you can pick and choose. You could, what you wanna, even though yeah. the divine, even though the divine creator put his words onto paper to give us clear, clear <clears throat> instructions on what so, we should so do. So clear, you're allowed to, uh, <laughs> you're allowed to kind of bend those to fit your. If you're version, really not into the hate, your paradigm, you, don't have to gotcha. you can yeah. find a church that is all gay people. If you, want. oh yeah, they exist. Yeah, yeah. but I bet they some, have great music. There are some hardliners who. It's Actually, show tunes. Kick their children out of the home 
their underage children out of the home once they realize that they're LGBTQ or whatever they are. Uh, God, that, I hope that I dis- get that it. Disturbs yeah. the parents. So Lucy's Place is an organization that gives these kids a roof over their heads and a you know stable environment to finish out their high school years. At least helps yeah. helps them get on their feet and find something else. Um, so and it's really cool. Like you go to the Amazon wish list, and what they need is like toothbrushes and toothpaste and yeah. deodorant and hygiene yeah. products of other sorts and like underwear and stuff. <laughs> like that's it's yeah. really simple and it's really cheap too. <clears throat> Um, so anyway, that's what we're going to do instead of charging admission to our 100th episode live podcast, January and, 12th. And Zach Slusher from Trash Blood Podcast in Northwest Arkansas is going to be there to open it up. And I, we're kind of working everything out. I think mm-hmm. what we might do is like a pure crossover of episode 100 for us and then Trash Blood. So it'll be like a Trash Blood episodic okay. sort of uh, dual podcast. I've heard at the of same those time. <clears throat> crossover podcasts. Yeah, they happen before. on NBC a lot with all those fucking Chicago shows. Yeah, we haven't Chicago really Chicago Fire, Chicago Med, Chicago PD, and then they do all that shit. I see. Batman vs Superman. Yeah, right. Good, yeah, point. good point, Tim. We, we haven't really talked about the format for what we're going to do up until recently, but I, it would be cool to just have Zach sit in and make it. We could both release it. Or we'll, yeah, we'll talk about that more yeah, later. Yeah, yeah, we'll but, figure um, it out. I am very excited about this, though. You know, I I got to be honest with you. When I was growing up, I'll be completely honest, growing up in the Church of Christ, it was just pounded into my head. Homosexuality was oh, wrong. It was oh, pounded yeah. in mine, too. Buddy. Yeah. Uh, yeah, aggressively yeah. Yeah. pounded. <laughs> at Tony Shoemaker's Nintendo party. <laughs> Joel McGrail. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> uh, so anyway, when I came down here, you know, we all uh, we all sans Nick went to Harding. Yeah, and even there, Ooh, they, they're hard was, on the gays at Harding. They definitely are. I remember hearing stories about guys who who were gay who got kicked out. Simply for being gay. Not that they acted on it, but they were gay, and so they got kicked out. And so I think that was the first point where I sort of started shifting the way I viewed viewed sexuality, I guess, in people, and that it's, you know, something that you're born with versus... Uh, versus you choose to do because that's that's the crazy shit about religion, especially the Church of Christ, is that they think that it's just it's completely a choice, and it's like right, yeah, you, yeah, that's the biggest part to me that blows my mind. Yeah, so then, so then, uh, I. I guess what I'm getting at, it's very weird that I moved from Ohio, which I guess you would think is a more open state to that sort of thing, down mm-hmm. to the Bible Belt. And being in the Bible Belt in Arkansas is where my beliefs completely shifted and changed. Maybe we were so hard you, know? you had to really take a look at it. <clears throat> I think that's what it was. I really do think that's what it was. And I know yeah. that this isn't like, uh, I know that this isn't necessarily the comedy that you've come to expect from this podcast. But I think that it's important to talk about and how people yeah. can, how in different situations and when you're, when you're surrounded by other people and different points of view, yeah. you, you actually grow as an individual and you can shift your perspective on different things. And so also the <clears> fact <throat> that, uh, the four of us actually had relatively decent loving parents yeah. for the most yeah. part and didn't <clears throat> get kicked out of the house for anything crazy. Fuck mm-hmm. Nick's dad just called him just for the shits and giggles of it. Yeah. 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 So okay. it's just, uh, it's great that that happened though. It, I guess uh, it's uh, another thing to take away is that it shows, uh, it shows that um, regardless of the perception of Arkansas as a very Bible heavy state, which it is, uh, anyone can be in this area and there's many different walks of life still down here. And I guess yeah. I'm, I'm saying that more for the people outside of the state who listen right, to right, this, right, you yeah. know? Yeah. Yeah. So. We're not as bad as, uh, we're made out to be. Yeah. However, some there, people are really loud. Basically. There, there's some fucking creatures down here though. Oh, there's oh, some oh, creatures yeah. <laughs> and they're, and they're tend, they tend to be the loudest ones and that's really yeah. disappointing. It but used to be basically river- what we're trying to do is change that. Exactly. It used to be Riverfest where you got to see the trash come out, you know, oh, man, yeah, yeah. It's shit. Now but it's uh, now it's uh, rallies at the state capitol with the right. Confederate flags. Yeah, what a bunch of douchebags. Well, hey, let's wrap this up. Um, 
thanks everyone for listening. Please go on iTunes, Spotify, whatever you listen to us on, and give us Mark a five calendar. star review. Mark your calendar for January 12th. We'll be sending out uh, Facebook invites and all that good stuff. Also, check out our friends Death Metal Dicks podcast, and please check out Frank and Beans podcast, another great one out of Northwest Arkansas. Um, you know, if you listen to this and you're in the state, support uh, Arkansas podcasts. Uh, and uh, yeah. yeah, if you if you get a chance, head down to uh, Core and Soma, check it out ahead of time. Find out where you're going to perch and post up for our, uh, our podcast. Give them a little business; is a good place. Absolutely. Hey, thanks, guys. We Thank love you. you. We love the support. <laughs>